Here's some mistakes to avoid in a Tesla as it pertains to Tesla charging. So did you know under your charging menu, every single Tesla has recommended charge rate. So if I move this to 100%, you can actually see that my charge rate will change as well. Now you see this bar right here, it says daily, and then it says trip. The daily goes up to 80%. So that is my recommended charge rate that I keep my Tesla at. And that's just for the health of the battery reasons. But new Teslas have new batteries and that allows you to charge every single day to 100%. But you can see here, one-time charge request to reset to 80%. Recommended charge rate is 80%. I say that's fine. But here's a mistake you wanna make. When you're supercharging, once you're done, you can actually accumulate fees. So you can see, move your car after charging or congestion fees may apply. I mean, it kind of makes sense if you're done charging and let's say you're in the store, you're in the bathroom, whatever. Well, there might be other Teslas waiting for those charging ports. So you definitely want to move your car. You want to actually navigate to the supercharger. Let me show you what that looks like superchargers near me now my tesla is going to pull up superchargers let me just pick one let's do this one now you want to actually do this process because you'll see here in one second my battery will start to precondition now a mistake you would make is just putting it into your phone gps or just driving there without doing this because your battery will not precondition why do you want it to precondition it'll give you the fastest charge so let's end the trip and go back into charging scroll down into the supercharging supercharging tips battery for precondition for the fastest charge now that's something you want to do so don't idle at the supercharger and make sure to find those superchargers through the gps and take a look at the recommended charging rate. You can always change this. It's not, it's not going to you know, absolutely destroy your battery if you change this. I keep mine at 90%, just like that. So now you know.